What up, Melvin7 here, and uh, isn't it lucky that I don't actually have uni because uh, EA have randomly released marquee matchups at a time they've never done before on a Wednesday, well, a Thursday morning at 1 a.m. Usually these are released uh, Friday morning, like, you know, 1, 12, but unexpectedly they've done it a day early, and uh, yeah, there's four. And the first one is only a part one, like literally six players that you need, one from Chelsea, one from Spurs. I like what they've done because it restricts people um, who can may not be able to you know, afford all these players. And obviously the more obscure leagues get price fixed. So uh, the Premier League, it, it's easy enough, but I like that they've only required you to have one player now in marquee matchups. That's something I really admire EA for. Now you are only getting a two rare players pack and 1,500 coins. Now the reason I've got Zuma in there is because he's untradeable for me. He's a very good card and there's many Chelsea cards. Uh, they do have to be gold, but um, yeah, the rest of them I'm just filling with uh, discard players. Uh, Macaulay, we've got um, Espinosa there. Vaughn, who's the Spurs player of course. He might be going for a little bit purely because he's a Spurs player, but uh, yeah, there's 650 bids on, but that's gonna happen throughout all the players anyway. So uh, Joe Allen we've got there and Darren Gibson. So I'm just gonna submit that. Um, that one's fairly self-explanatory. I, I wouldn't be spending more than 4,000 coins on that one. Like you're buying six players. So yeah, I would limit yourself to about 4K because you are only getting a two rare, uh, two gold players basically, but uh, you can get some really good stuff in this. Right, now the next one, uh, SC, here Rivin, here Rivin, um, yeah, and Ajax. You only need one player from them as well. Um, this one you don't actually need to get Eredivisie players. I have because I've got an abundance in my club. Um, they, it does need to be a minimum team of seventy-five. As you can see, though, uh, I've got this um, SC uh, guy that I bought ages ago for two hundred coins, and the reason I did that. I've stocked up on Russian League and Eredivisie players for when they eventually do the league SBCs where there'll be a special card from this league and I'm glad I have because as you can see these players are getting price fixed for like 5k every single one but I've got an abundance in my club so I might go around selling them uh, it's pointless showing you because yeah it'll just waste time but yeah the rest of them you can literally get two Netherlands players uh, for the IX player I've got this um, this shown guy but th there's many many Netherlands players and literally just build a Netherlands team so you can use other players from other leagues like Leroy Fur, for example like um, well I was gonna say fucking Van der Vaart but oh my god who's the old Aston Villa centre-back I know his name and I can't, oh my god you'll know exactly who I'm on about but yeah uh, Eredivisie players might be getting price fixed but just in case you want to see what I've done um, I'll just quickly scroll through but uh, this one again I wouldn't spend any more than 10k on these anymore. Like, EA have done a really, really good job by limiting it. You do get a 25k pack, but because you only need one of those players um, from each of the clubs, the rest of the players should be very, very cheap. So, yeah, 10k is your limit for these type of things. Now, I haven't actually checked the price of the um, players that you need, like, from independ Independentante. Oh, my God, I cannot pronounce anything, man, but... Uh, yeah, it seems as though they're cheap enough, uh, these types of players. You only need one again, and you only need a racing club player. And you do get one gold player's but Oh, that's a 12.5k pack. Okay, th this one, pff, ideally spend about 6, 7k. Uh, but because you need the independent, uh, that player, then yeah, it's probably going to cost you 2k or something. But yeah, I've used three of them, but that's because I've got them in my club. But like, you can just use any from this league. Um... Again, you like you don't have to use this league. There's a couple of players like Cambiasu who I've got from the Hellas Liga, like uh, this Martinez guy. And yeah, just basically use an Argentinian squad because you do need 11 Argentinian players, but they don't have to be from the Argentinian league. So we're just going to submit that and uh, move on to the final one, which is Toronto FC versus Montreal Impact. Now, this should be the cheapest as you can use bronze items. You do need 11 different clubs, but there are so many discard 200 coins bronze players. So um, it really shouldn't be that hard. Like, look, 200 coins for him. I'll just show you a couple, I suppose. Uh, 200 coins for him. Uh, I have got some gold players in there purely because they are untradeable for me, I think. Oh, this guy isn't, but... Uh, like, I didn't really have anything else, so yeah, 1k for him. But if you're using bronze players, you could get this for under 2k. Like, 
well, just over 2k, I suppose. You could get it for under uh, 2k if you bid 150 instead of buy now, but yeah, shouldn't be spending more than 3k absolute max, and you are only getting a silver's player pack, a silver player's pack, which I think is 7.5 or 8.5 coins. The coins, my god, thousand coins. You know, I'm just gonna put this down to tiredness. It's like uh, half one in the morning, which shouldn't be feeling tired at that time, actually. But yeah, uh, we submit that. We've completed marquee matchups, a jumbo premium gold pack as well, which is a 15k pack. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that uh, my mate who was on Skype realized that these were out because I was just watching YouTube videos and uh, yeah, I wouldn't have known until tomorrow. So we'll open the players pack first, the silver one, see what we get in that. Obviously a rare shows up. Um, doesn't look as though he's going to go for a lot, but there might be some League One silvers in there, uh, things like that. Doesn't look as though there is. There is an MLS silver, but these are rapidly decreasing in price. Yeah, I mean, a few hundred coins, but I'll just store the rest in my club and uh, send the rest to the trade pile and we'll move swiftly on. Um, but uh, yeah, again, I like what EA have done. They've limited it. This week doesn't seem as though it's as valuable as last week because there isn't actually 25k packs. These are 12.5s. That was a decent pause. Not a decent flare though, because it's it's literally a rare player. Look, watch, I bet we got a silver rare in this pack. Of course we did. Burnley silver rare in there, that's that's a bit annoying. We get a Casio A player who may sell at another point, but we'll just store them in the club, pointless. Uh, checking those for now, because that'll just drag the video out. So we've got another 12.5k pack. That was another long pause, but yeah, not a walkout, unfortunately. We do get Chalanongu though who's a very, very good card on this game. Um, ooh, is that a League 1? No, it's a League 2. Of course it's a League 2. Belgium League. Pro League, sorry, he might go for a bit. Eh, about a 1,000 uh, as a silver, not too bad. We'll just list him for a 1,000, see if he sells. If he doesn't, I'll relist. But, um, yeah, I'm going to open the two-player pack last, purely because a lot of good things come out of them from a, like, a lot of, my god i get shit in them but other people get really good stuff in them that's what i was aiming to say and i can't fucking say it what a piss take but yeah we get a debushi in that one we get another silver rare seem to be getting a lot of those west ham uh, goalkeeper randolph but um yeah we'll move on to the two player pack hopefully we can get something good in this would be nice it's not a walkout probably not going to be good nah so this week it seems as though they weren't really worth it like last week I think, what did I get again? Sergio Ramos, I think, from these. And, uh, yeah, not just that. It, it just was so worth it because they were given 25k packs. They were given everything else. I mean, pack value for money, it's worth it because you shouldn't be spending more than 35k to do all four. But in regards to the actual packs that you get, the chances of you getting something good, not great. So maybe do the one for the 15k pack. I don't... I, Oh, wait, the 15k pack's doing all four. So, um, I don't know, just kind of think, is it worth it to you whether you want to risk 35k or not? Whether you should do this is entirely up to you. Yeah, so I'm just going to end the video, but uh, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.